Hello, Motherites. Welcome to the science lecture of grade 9. And this is video session 3 of chapter number 15 Improvement in Food Resources. Crop Protection Management. Dear students, we studied about the growth of crops, cropping patterns, use of manures, fertilizers, etc. But once the crop is ready in our farm, then its protection is also very much important. So crops in the field are damaged by weeds, insects, pests and other diseases can also be found in plants. Weeds are unwanted plants which grow in field. Examples are Xanthium, Pathanium, Cyperinus, Rotundus, etc. Here the same weeds are shown in photographs also. They compete with the crop for food, space and sunlight and use the nutrients and reduce crop yield. It is like as if we are just sitting on our dining table and suddenly five people come and with the same food now they are also to be provided the nutrients. So definitely we will get less amount right because one of our part has to be given to them right. Similarly these weeds will compete with the crop for food, space and sunlight, everything. So we must have to prevent our actual crop required crop from this. Insect pests cause damage to the root, stem and leaves. It can suck cell sap and bore into stem and fruits also. Right. They can reduce the crop yield. Diseases in plants can cause by pathogens like virus, bacteria, fungi and reduces crop yield. Weeds, insects, pests, diseases can be controlled by using chemicals like medicides, pesticides, fungicides, etc. They are sprayed on crop plants or used for treating seeds and soil. Since these chemicals are poisonous, excessive use of these chemicals can cause environmental pollution also. So generally you must have observed the farmers just by covering their mouth, they spray these things in their farms. After that, if the crop is ready and after harvesting the crop, how to store them? That is also very much important. Otherwise, all the hard work that is done by that particular farmer for some months will get wasted. So, for storage, the factors responsible for the damage and loss of grains are biotic factors like bacteria, fungi, insects, rodents, etc. And abiotic factors like moisture, temperature at that particular storage place. So these factors must be maintained. Before storage, the grains are cleaned and dried in sunlight to remove excess amount of moisture. And storage places are fumigated to kill pests. Fumes of particular chemicals will be just spread throughout that storage place. These metal storage are known as silos, right? So this type of storage arrangement can be farmed. After that, dear students, along with farming, animal husbandry is also beneficial. Animal husbandry means it's a scientific management of animal livestock, including their feeding, breeding and disease control also. Animal farming includes cattle, sheep, goat, poultry, fish farming, etc. Cattle farming, very simple that milk giving animals like cow, buffalo, goat, they will be provided shelter, food and everything they want. Cattle farming is done for two main purposes. They are for milk production and farm labor. Milk producing females are called milch animals. And those used for farm labor are called drought animals. Dear students, please underline and uh, mark out these things, write these points because in one mark MCQs, the same things will be asked. Milk production depends on the duration of the lactation period. The period of milk production after the birth of the calf. Milk production can be increased by increasing the lactation period. Foreign breeds like Jersey and Brown Swiss have long lactation periods and local breeds like Red Sindhi and Sahiwal are resistant to diseases. 
they can be crossbred to get animals with both the qualities as we discussed in plants in animals also same type of hybridization method can be used to get all the good characteristics in a single species cattle shelter should be clean and well ventilated with sloping floors for easy cleaning definitely through slope the their urine and water can be managed very well cattle feed should include roughage containing mainly fiber and concentrates containing protein and other nutrients cattle diseases are caused by parasites bacteria and virus external parasites cause skin diseases internal parasites like worms will affect their stomach and intestine and flukes damage the liver vaccinations are given to protect from viral and bacterial diseases as vaccination is done in humans same thing is true and applicable for animals also after that we have poultry farming poultry farming is done for egg production and the chicken or meat fulfillment this demand of chicken can be fulfilled by poultry farm improved poultry breeds are developed to produce layers for eggs and broilers for meat cross breeding between indian varieties like asil and foreign varieties like lagon is done to develop new varieties for good production of poultry birds they are given proper nutrition and kept in hygienic conditions and proper temperature conditions so dear students you can understand all these points very easily that whatever are the requirements will be fulfilled there and only they will get more and more eggs and more and more younger ones will take birth broiler chickens are fed with vitamin protein and fat rich feed for better growth of them poultry farms are affected by diseases caused by virus bacteria fungi and parasites wherever there is a huge mass there is huge risk also of all these microorganisms they are protected from diseases by proper sanitation spraying disinfectants and by vaccination same type of business is fish production it is also known as pisciculture fish is a source of animal protein in our food there are two ways of obtaining fish they are from natural sources called capture fishing and from fish farming called culture fishery the water source of fishes can be sea water that is marine life or fresh water like rivers ponds lakes etc marine fisheries the popular marine fish varieties are pomfret mackerel tuna sardines etc they are caught by fishing nets from boats you must have watched this many a times in national geographic type of channels some marine marine fishes are farmed in sea water these include prawns mullets pearl spots mussels oysters etc we get pearls from oysters inland fisheries culture fishery is done in fresh water and brackish water where sea water and fresh water mix together sometimes fish culture is done in combination with paddy crop in the field this is called composite fish culture please focus on this point and very important for one mark questions the common fishes in inland fish farms are rohu catla regal grass carp silver carp common carp etc and the last topic of this chapter is bee keeping which is also known as apiculture dear students bees are very hard working you know bee keeping is done to obtain honey and wax honey is used as a source of energy and also has medicinal uses many medicines and many ayurvedic herbs can be taken with honey so in many ways honey is beneficial wax is used in medicinal preparations and for making polishes also the local varieties of bees used for honey production are the indian bee rock bee and little bee 
an italian variety of bee is also being used for large scale production of honey the bees collect nectar from flowers and is convert converted into honey in the bee hives bee hives means the place you must have watched it many a times where they live so here also bee hive is shown to us the bees collect nectar from flowers and these are artificially grown in apiaries also these are the structures in which bees can be grown they can be provided with suitable conditions so that their breeding rate will be more and more so more and more bees can be grown and honey is extracted by machine that is called honey extractor thank you very much